Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my third update on my no buy and by the title of this video, I guess you guys can see I have a lot of thoughts and I don't know. I feel like I I mean I haven't technically broken my no buy. Um I have not purchased any makeup, but I get the sense that I feel like I'm cheating to a certain extent. Um, the whole reason why I went on my no buy to begin with was because I I felt like I had a lot of products. Um, so I did not want to buy any more until you know I focused for a whole year just to use up what I have and in hopes of decreasing the amount of products that I have. Um, but I have been making some purchases on things that I do need. Um, well, it was just one purchase. Um, I, if you guys watched my empties for January, you guys saw that I ran, I went through three um, skin serums, facial serums, and this month in February I used up another bottle. Uh, so I repurchased some skincare because I needed it because I ran out, and I. When I made that purchase, I put a story of it on Instagram. Um, I was able to enter two codes for like a gift with purchase type thing. And there was some makeup items that came in those purchases. Uh, some lip products, some eye products, some face products, like a little contour palette from NYX. Um, so I didn't actually buy that stuff. You know, I bought the serums for, for my my facial serums but I chose to get those bags you know I chose to enter the codes knowing that some makeup was in those things and I feel like like it's defeating the purpose um, I didn't think of it at the time at the time I was like oh well you know I'm not paying for this um, because it's coming for free I'm buying the skincare but I'm, I'm getting the makeup for free um, but I don't know what do you guys think? Is that considered like breaking my no buy even though I didn't spend money for it? Um, I mean, I, I've i gone through four bottles of serum, of facial serum, so I purchased two. So it's not like I overstocked on my skincare just to get the, the bags, but I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know if I if I like need to start all over again. Um, like I said, the purpose of my no buy was to not buy makeup to decrease the number of items that I have, and I haven't purchased any, but somehow I've acquired stuff. Um, so I don't know. And, and my birthday happened, and I got some makeup for that too. So I'm not asking for it but I'm still getting it. So, I don't know. That, that was the main thought that I had. Now, as far as the actual buying makeup, because I want to buy makeup, um, I haven't purchased anything, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, but it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling, um, like I said, because I'm still having some sort of makeup um, influx into my collection, so. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just being too hard on myself and like I need to get over it. <laughs> so I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but like I said, I haven't purchased anything. Um, oh, the new Anastasia palette, the, what is it? Soft Glam? Is that what it's called? Oh, that is so pretty, you guys. I was never tempted by the, I never wanted the Subculture or the Prism palette. That, those two... Um, never really, you know, caught my interest, but this soft, is it soft glow or soft glam? Something like that. The new one that's coming out. I don't even know when it comes out, but it's so pretty. I want it. <laughs> that I do want. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Uh, and there was another palette that I, wa that I was like, oh, that's pretty. Um, oh, which one was it? I can't remember gonna bother me oh the um, urban decay that mini heat I don't have the the heat palette is that what's called naked heat 
Uh, I don't have that one, but the mini one just came out, or it's coming out soon, and it's so pretty. I probably have those colors in my collection already, but it's real, they're real pretty. So those two palettes are the ones that I'm like keeping my eyes on. And <laughs> I mean, never mind, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. So anyway, guys, uh, pretty short update, I think for this month. Um, like I said, the main thing that's kind of been bugging me are those um, gifts with purchase makeup items that I've gotten um, because even though I go through lip products I think the thing that bothered me most were those lip products that I got because even though I do go through lip products fairly quickly um, like I really want to see a decrease in that number of lip products that I have at the end of the year so I am working really really hard to use up my lip products this year and I feel like I feel like I I might be sabotaging my my own progress by getting those gifts with purchase. I mean, it's too late. I already got them. Um, it's not like I can return it because it was a gift with purchase. Um, I could give them away, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, if you guys think that I am cheating on my no buy, uh, but be kind because I already feel badly about it. Um, like I said, technically I am not buying the makeup, I am buying the skincare and the makeup comes with it. Um, I guess I could have chosen, sorry, I got a text. Um, I mean, I could have chosen not to enter the code to get the free stuff, but it's kind of like, it also came with other like skincare and hair care things that I also wanted, so, mm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below and hopefully March will be a, or February will be a much more successful no buy. Thank you guys for watching and for listening and I will see you on my next video. Bye.